Good morning. It is almost 1130 on Monday. It is roughly 26 degrees Celsius outside right now. It is a beautiful day. We will not be enjoying it. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working right now, but my boss pulled up and I came out to the van. And as I came out or as they pulled in, my coworker said to my boss that I hadn't been feeling well over the weekend, which I really had. I slept pretty much, well, all day Sunday. Um, yeah, I felt horrible. Um, and I was still feeling like a bucket of assholes this morning. I'm really stuffed up. I have this stupid, annoying cough. <coughs> <coughs> and yeah, so my energy level is like non-existent. So, but I was going to go to work. I knew it was going to be a short day. So, it was like, cool. But my boss is like, oh, you know, your co-worker just told me that you weren't feeling well. And I was like, not really. It's fine. <laughs> Let's do this. And she says, you know, there's only four houses today. Like, if you want to stay home, like, stay home. See you on Wednesday, because I guess I'm off tomorrow. And I was like, like are you sure? Like, I feel bad not going to work because I don't like I I just I don't I don't like that <laughs> one it's bad on my paycheck and two I just it, yeah she's like no 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 stay home like it's fine <laughs> you look horrible you look tired go to bed okay so I did I crashed on the couch for a little bit <laughs> monkeys at his dad's he went yesterday I think I was sleeping. <sighs> he texted me when he was leaving. I was like, okay, sorry. Like, I just, I could not get out of bed yesterday. Um, and I texted him last night and said that we changed the locks and the knobs on my, on my door because the locks were foobarred and the knobs were foobarred and it was just a shit show. <laughs> so we changed those out on Saturday. Well, we, my buddy did. Um, but I hadn't made up. It only came with two keys, so I needed to make up an extra key. And I said, I'll leave one for you. Like, I'll put it in our hidey spot. Because I thought I was going to work today. <laughs> I thought he was coming home while I was at work. So... I had to text him back this morning and be like, I'm home. <laughs> so just knock really loud, like knock really, really hard because I'll probably be past it on the couch. <laughs> but I'll stay on the couch because if I go to my room, I won't hear nothing. I don't care how hard you bang. So he said that that was fine, but that he thought he was staying at his dad's until like after dinner. I was like, Whatever, man. Just, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> so I took a nap on the couch for a little bit. And I got up and I thought I better not sleep like all day. I could. I could easily sleep all day. Like I did it yesterday. I think I was up for all of seven hours yesterday. Um, kind of intermittently. <laughs> And uh, I thought, no, I, I have to stay up a little bit. I want to make sure that I sleep tonight. I don't see it being a problem, but. So, I have a couple of bags left from my food bags from last week. One was that maple kale thing, which was the fastest thing to make. So I made that up. It actually wasn't bad. I was surprised because I'm not a huge fan of kale and I hate maple. <laughs> but you couldn't really taste the maple. It just kind of gave it a hint of sweetness. It was with like sweet potatoes and apples and cranberries, the kale. Something that is kind of like couscous, but it's not. I, I can't even pronounce what it is. But that kind of idea. Um, and then like a, like a Dijon mustard maple dressing, I don't know, but the 
sweet potatoes were baked with like a southwest seasoning and then your salt and pepper and everything so once you put everything together you don't really taste the maple it's just kind of sweet <coughs> I made sure to put a little extra southwest seasoning on everything because I really I did not want to taste the maple no no <laughs> no And the kale wasn't too, too bad. My biggest problem, well, kale is, is bitter, let's be honest. It's, it's, it's super bitter. And it's, the texture is like stupid chewy. Like it's ridiculous. It's the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. The directions were to like, to rinse it in cold water and then drain it and put it in like a big bowl. <clears throat> and then put like, I think it was like half a tablespoon or something of olive oil. It always says, it just says oil. I, I use olive oil. I don't use vegetable oil. I don't use canola oil. So I did that and this is to put a little bit of salt in it and then like ma massage it. Like, oh, I get to rub kale. Cool. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, it makes it a lot softer and a lot easier to eat. And it takes away the bitter. I think a lot of that is the salt. So I have to remember that. Not that I eat a lot of kale, but it's good to know. So I had that for lunch, or half of that. So that was good. And I wrapped the rest of it up and I put it in the fridge. For tonight, I have some sort of rice deal. <laughs> then I'm going to make up and I think that one is slightly spicy too which is good, it'll keep me sweating sweat all this, whatever this is that I have just fucking sweat it out so I might not my, and today, this week's food box should be coming today so <sighs> I'll tell you Friday, I think what this comes from what Friday we did a house and the gentleman there is stupid picky like with the products that we use so he insists on using brand name Windex we use just cheap knockoff shit like fucking I personally don't like the smell of Windex I'm scent sensitive okay the smell of Windex just drives me absolutely batshit crazy <coughs> <laughs> but whatever it's one house so whatever <sighs> but lately he's been putting out this stove top cleaner it's like glass stove tops he doesn't have a glass stove top his is ceramic I don't know what his problem is but anyways the last time I was there he had it out and I was like mm, I'm, I don't like heavy chemicals like, again, I'm very sense-sensitive. No. But on Friday, I thought, you know what? Like, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll get, It's fine. We'll give it a shot. So, I used it. It didn't get it any cleaner. <laughs> um, and instantly, I started coughing. <coughs> it was horrible. And I coughed the whole rest of the day. Like, I just could not stop coughing. It was, it was horrible. By Friday night, was it Friday night that I went over to my buddy's for a little bit? I think it is. By Friday night, my, my throat, like the very back of my throat was actually getting really sore. And my lungs were, I don't know, like feeling itchy is the best way I can describe it. it. Like if I could have taken my lungs out and dunked them in some saline or something, it would have been fucking awesome. So fine, whatever. I'm going to turn my car off. Um, then by Saturday morning, I woke up and my nose was kind of stuffy kind of runny and my throat was like dry and scratchy and the cough as soon as i sat up i started coughing and i could not stop like even just to catch my breath it was, I was like this is it this is this is how jen dies oh my god 
<coughs> it was horrible. <laughs> but whatever, I got up. I think I sl I think I got up around noon or some shit like that on Saturday. I'd overslept anyway. I had the entire house to clean. I had my laundry to do. Um, I had asked on Friday, I had asked my, my co-worker's boyfriend about helping me with these locks because my buddy didn't have or he couldn't find the, the bit that he needed because we had to make the hole bigger for, for the, the deadbolt. Um... And he was kind of umming and awing and, you know, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it, but he didn't want to say he didn't want to do it, right? I was like, well, how much do you want to do it? He, you know, and he gave me a price. I was like, cool, like, that's fine. I can, I get paid on Wednesday as long as you don't mind waiting till Wednesday. I can, you know, I work with your girlfriend, like, it's fine. <laughs> and he kept, yeah, 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 that's fine. But he wouldn't give me a day and he wouldn't talk to my coworker to see, like, he just didn't want to do it right fine but tell me you just don't want to do it like what it's fine I don't care <laughs> <coughs> so my buddy had called me back and asked and I said no I said he doesn't want to do it. I, he gave me he said he was gonna do it but he wouldn't give me a day and he was umming and awing and I don't think it's like like whatever so he'd I my buddy had either gone out and bought in the 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 bit or found the bit that he needed whatever the case was and he came over Saturday and like pretty much all after all fucking afternoon all fucking, it was it was it was yeah <laughs> and I really wasn't feeling good so I mean I wasn't much help <coughs> but whatever it got done and then Sunday, I got up, and I don't even know. Oh, I woke up when Monkey texted me that he was going to his dad's. And I just felt like a bucket of shit. <laughs> it's like, nope. Not even trying to get out of bed. It's not happening. So I went back to sleep. <laughs> I got up once because I needed to blow my nose. And because I needed a drink in the worst way. I don't even think I went out for a cigarette until like, I think it was like around 3 or 3.30 when I actually got out of bed and came downstairs, opened up all my curtains and made myself a coffee, oh, coffee will make me feel better because it's coffee, and uh, I went outside and had a cigarette, I thought, oh, this might not be a good idea. <laughs> But whatever, I went out and had a cigarette. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> just sort of dozed on the couch. Like, I really felt horrible. I feel better today. I still feel bad, but I was just, oh my god, I felt, I can't remember the last time I felt that horrible. <laughs> I felt like I hadn't slept in weeks. Like, I was just so friggin tired yesterday. It was ridiculous. Like, thankfully on Saturday, I managed to get everything done. I, I did my house from top to bottom, from baseboards to ceiling. I did my laundry. I did everything. The only thing I didn't get done was my outdoor stuff. I didn't mow my lawn. I didn't clean out my pool. I have to do that tomorrow, regardless of how I'm feeling. I refuse to do anything today because technically I'm supposed to be working. So if my boss gave me the day off, I'm just not doing anything. I'm just not. But tomorrow, regardless of how I'm feeling, and of course weather permitting, I have to cut my grass and tidy up my pool. But, oh my god, yeah, just a bucket of assholes yesterday. It was horrible. My coworker had actually text me and then she was like messaging me on messenger asking if I was home or where I don't know what she wanted and I really didn't care I just when I, I don't know how long she but there were several messages I just texted her back and I was like yeah I'm home but I feel like death and I'm, I'm just sleeping like just 
Go away. <laughs> Go away. <coughs> so, I think later today, like later today, <laughs> my buddy said he would come over. I have a leaky faucet in my bathroom, and I finally bought a replacement faucet last week, so when I bought my locks and stuff. So I think he was going to come by and change that over for me. So I have to hear the constant running of water. <sighs> Trying to drink as much as I can. Um, yeah. Anyways, this cleaning stuff, I think was pretty sure was what started everything. So I don't know if, if this is from inhaling the fumes or whatever from that fucking oven cleaner or what, but I will never use it again. Go fuck your hat, bud. Clean your own stove with it. Fuck. There's a reason, like we don't clean with any chemicals except for, like we have our, our all purpose cleaner and we have our glass cleaner but we don't use anything with bleach like we don't use any of that stuff it's all <coughs> like we don't even use toilet bowl cleaner like unless a customer has it and says use it we don't carry it around with us we use soap and water and your scrub brush and we use soap to clean the sinks with a magic eraser. Same with the stove. A little bit of soap, some hot water, and a magic eraser will clean just about just about any stove top. And if it doesn't, that's your fault. You've got some severely cooked on shit and we can't help you. <coughs> this is why we don't use chemicals and stuff. So yeah, I will not be using that again. He can go fuck his hat. So yeah, uh, uh. anywho, we're, we're what, we're almost at the 18 minute mark, I'm so tired, I'm gonna bounce, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna curl up on the couch, I'm going to find a movie to watch, I was watching Death Proof just before I came out here, I love that movie so much, it's one of my favorite movies. I'm going to go home and cuddle up on the couch and maybe, maybe I will put on uh, Devil's Rejects. I haven't watched that movie in a good long while. I love that. That is, that is like one of my top two movies. I love that movie so much. I think I will go do that. Maybe I'll even grab myself a coffee. We'll see. Oh, <sighs> yeah. No, I'm not going to grab a coffee. I'm going to go home with my Gatorade and cuddle up on the couch. And watch Devil's Rejects and probably pass out. That's what's going to happen. <coughs> so, anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. I hope your Monday is gentle. Take care of yourself. And we'll talk later.